your lock picks. Lock picks. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to talk about lock picking, specifically how to get into lock picking, the beginning of it, right? What I've done is I've created the perfect kit for a new lock picker, someone who's interested but doesn't want to go overboard. Now, I will say it's very easy to go overboard, especially when you're getting into it. There's a whole lot of options and they all look cool. So, my perfect kit. What makes it perfect? Well, we're going to place one order with one company, and that company is Sparrows. Um, that way you're not expecting different packages arriving at different times, and you can, you know, get your hooks into the hobby. Your hooks, haha. You can get your hooks into the hobby the day the package arrives. Two, Sparrows is quality. We want to buy quality. We don't want to buy junk. There's a lot of junk out there. Don't get sucked into the $10 Amazon kit that's got 50,000 picks. Those aren't what you want. Three, the whole thing is less than $75, and it includes some optional things, so you can shave some of that money off if you want to save some. Now, I will say, the whole kit revolves around one thing particular. It revolves around the Sparrow's Revolver. This is the practice lock. It's 40 bucks. It's most of the cost. All right, let's dive into the kit and we'll go through it piece by piece. Here we have the perfect beginner lock picker kit. We have some optional items, the case and this set of tension tools. Maybe one of these picks. We have some necessary items, the revolver, the top of the keyway tensioners, and at least one of these picks, I think you should go with the rake too. Let's start with the case. Now the case is optional because the lock picks don't care if they are kept in a cup on your desk or in a Ziploc bag. This is purely for you. Now the tuxedo case is $8, so it's not a heavy investment. It's got some sweet Velcro. It's got two slots, one in the back, one in the front. Most of the time you're going to put picks in the back slot, which is very hard to get a finger in. And you're going to put tension tools in the front slot. Sealed up with Velcro. Nothing falls out. Everything stays in place. Goes in your pocket. Goes in your bag. It's a wonderful investment, but purely optional. The other optional part. Now, it's only optional to buy. You can go to AutoZone or or O'Reilly, or any auto parts place after a rainstorm and get these for free. What do I mean? You take a wiper blade out of the trash can, you peel away the rubber, and you are left with a thin strip of metal, pretty much about this size, that you can cut and bend to form your bottom of the keyway tensioners. If you want to buy them from Sparrows, it's about six fifty. That's exactly six fifty. If you want to buy them from Sparrows, it's $6.50. You get three of these and three of these in three different thicknesses. You get these thick ones, you get a little thinner, and you get the really thin ones. If you want to save money, this is where to do it. Go to AutoZone, pick up the wiper blades out of the trash bin, peel the rubber, bend them up. You got it. Now, picks. One of these is probably optional. We're going to start with the standard hook. This is your standard hook. This is the bread and butter of single pin picking. This one isn't optional. You're going to want this. One of these is optional. We have the high half diamond. This is a Pretty much direct copy of the Peterson gem. And we have the offset hybrid, which has a little diamond at the tip. Why do I say that one of these is optional? When we look at the profile, there's not a lot of difference, right? The high half diamond is a little thicker at the tip, but they both provide the same basic reach, 
and pickability. I like the high half diamond, although I do like the offset hybrid. So you don't need both. You can choose one and save $4. The rake. The rake is the beginner's best friend. For getting into standard pin locks, which standard pins are in here, this is going to give you that immediate gratification that's going to propel you to have success in your future picking. So triple peak is probably the most universally uh, recognized rake. Um, goes by the name Bogota, Triple Peak. This is one that you want to have. And I've just put a little, a little uh, shrink wrap on there for grip, right? Because you're going to pull it through the lock. Tension bars. These are the heavy bars from Sparrows. That's top of the keyway tension. Top of the keyway tension for single pin picking. Why do I say the heavy bars over the other top of the keyway tensioners? The revolver, right? These guys are thick. They're going to fill up the top of the keyway. The other top of the keyway tensioners are different thicknesses. They have a little bit more slop in the keyway. They're not what you want. Heavy bars are where it's at. They're only four bucks. Grab a set. Now, the big daddy of the kit. Now, the revolver. The revolver is 40 bucks. That's most of the cost here. Why do I say the revolver over any of the other practice locks Sparrows offers? Simple. You can buy one practice lock for 22 bucks. You can buy essentially four practice locks here for 40. The revolver comes pinned up with standard pins in position one. And that is marked by this little triangle symbol here. It's got five standard pins in it, all accessible with these Allen keys or Allen screws. The observant among you will notice that there are six Allen screws in here. This last, this last slot is left open. You can put six pins in each of these to give yourself an extra challenge. Anyway, standard pins in position one. one. Moving on to position two, we have spool pins. Position three has serrated pins. Position four has mushroom pins. So it gets progressively harder as you pick around the clock. The nice thing is with the included Allen key, you can unscrew these Allen grub screws and repin this lock. You can take a standard Schlage key to give yourself new bidding, or you can replace standard pins with security pins, blah, blah, blah. Now, once you're through the revolver, you can spend 16 bucks and buy a reload kit. That's going to give you some more pins and more options. So basically for a small kit that fits in your pocket, it does weigh a ton. You can carry around your lock pits. So let's take a look at the Sparrows order that I have. As you can see here, we have the tuxedo case. I've chosen black for this list. The short hook, no handle. The triple peak, no handle. The offset hybrid, no handle. We have the high half diamond, which comes with a handle, so you're going to pay that extra fee. Heavy bars, revolver, and the level one tension set for $73.89. If you want to save some money, you can get rid of the level one tension set, and you can get rid of the case. For less than 60 bucks, you'll have a kit that'll let you pick through the revolver. You can use the rake on position one where those standard pins and then practice single pin picking. You'll single pin pick probably the rest of the three keyways. But at least you'll have an idea of how the picks work, what you like, what you don't like. There we go. So what did you think about this kit? I myself love it. I wish that this kind of information had been available more widely available anyway, when I started. I wouldn't have all of what I have now. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we will see you next time.